day, a day before we celebrate the birth of your son, Jesus Christ. We're so grateful, Lord, to be part of your family, to be your children. Oh, Lord, yes, you are amazing. We thank you, Lord, that you love us so much. You gave us your son. And, Lord, because of him we live, Lord. And because of him, Lord, we are free. We are a family. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We just pray this morning, Lord, as we are gathered, that your Holy Spirit will move amongst us. Lord, that you touch each and every one of us. Wherever we have come from, whatever we have brought, we want to submit everything into your hands and receive your love, your love excelling, your love divine. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Are we ready for Christmas? Yes. Ah. <laughs> yes. Are our hearts prepared for Christmas? Christmas, yes, we may be ready for Christmas, but are we ready for the second coming? Is mm -hmm. the question. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. But whilst we're all getting ready and celebrating and everything, let's just acknowledge everyone from those in heaven above, below the heaven on earth. Let's just read what the psalmist say in Psalm 148. Thank you, David. I'm very far from it. Can someone do it for me, please? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all stars of light. Praise him, highest heavens and the waters that are above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He has also established them for ever and ever. He has made a decree which will not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, sea monsters and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and clouds, stormy wind fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and winged fowl, kings of the earth and all peoples, peoples and all judges of the earth, both men and virgins, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth and heaven, and he has lifted up a horn for his people. Praise for all his godly ones, even for the sons of Israel, a people near to him. Praise the Lord. Amen. It says that the wind and the storm, as I was coming, the wind, the car was just going like this. It's all windy out there. But I said, Lord, you are in this wind and you are in whatever this weather we have. <clears throat> and we are so grateful for that. It was actually exciting just going like that. And with the wind. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. God works in mysterious ways, doesn't he? Right, let's go into our first song. We'll sing the first song. Actually, what is going to happen is we're going to sing, read a few verses, sing, and then at some point we're going to have a play with Eileen that is prepared for us. Okay. So we should be prepared to read and to follow instructions. <laughs> we'll go into our first two songs.
Cloud.
The birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, he was found to, she was found to be with child by the Holy Spirit. And Joseph, her husband, being a righteous man and not wanting to disgrace her, planned to send her away secretly. But when he had considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child who has been conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Now all this took place to fulfill what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which translated means God with us. And Joseph awoke from his sleep and did as the, Lord, as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary as his wife, but kept her a virgin and still she gave birth to a son and she called his name Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> so that's what Matthew tells us. That's the author of you. <coughs> but let's just embrace the unexpected. Uh, sisters and brothers, what can we say about Christmas? Year after year, we celebrate the birth of our Lord. But we are, are we ready for his second coming is the question. The Christmas story is full of unexpected happenings. Think about it. Zachariah and Elizabeth didn't expect to become parents at their age. You know they were over the age of childbearing. The shepherds, they didn't expect to, an entourage of angels to appear in the sky. They were busy minding their own business in the fields with their animals. Let alone King Herod, he didn't expect his reign to be challenged by an infant. The wise men, they didn't expect to find the king of the Jews in a cobweb manger in Bethlehem. And Mary certainly didn't expect to become pregnant. As we read in Luke chapter 1 verse 34, how will this be since I am a virgin? The Christmas story is one surprise after another. Where should we be looking for God in this season of Advent? By the way, Advent ends today. We tend to look for God in the familiar places. Candlelit worship, beloved hymns, carols, quiet times of prayer. But given uh, Luke's birth narrative, aren't we equally likely to experience God's presence where we least expect to find him? Brothers and sisters, this morning I want to encourage you to look for God's grace in failure and disappointment. Look for God's leading in setbacks and sorrow. Don't neglect to look for God's grace in the unexpected, even the unwelcome. God is a way of showing up in the most unexpected places. We read in Luke chapter 2, verse 7. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swatting clothes and laid him in a manger. 
that is our God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your amazing grace, for your love. Thank you for giving us your Son, Jesus Christ, and your Holy Spirit to comfort and guide us. As we celebrate your birth, especially tomorrow, speak to our hearts, touch us from inside, Lord, that we may know the real meaning of Christmas, that it is about you, Jesus that we may have that relationship with you, especially for those who do not know you yet. Lord, we pray that you touch hearts, move people to seek you, to find you. Lord, and may your light shine, especially as we leave this place and go our different directions. May you go before us, remove any obstacles, and let your light shine, and lead us as you guide the shepherds with your star, with your angels. We trust in you, Lord. We bless you. Praise your holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. We'll sing our last carol. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Saviour's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till He appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yon breaks a new and glorious morn fall on your knees oh heed the angel voices oh night divine oh night when Christ was born